What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gordon and today I'm gonna show you how I hot tarp camp. Hot tarp camping, let's go. So after you lay out your tarp, you want to stake out the very corners of one side and then come one grommet in and stake that out as well. Because this is gonna be the area that you are actually laying on inside of the shelter. All right, I wanted to jump in and show you the design of this shelter on paper first. And this is something that you can do at home. Grab a piece of paper, mark out the dimensions of your tarp. One inch equals one foot. This is what it looks like when you fold it up. So you start by folding where the ground sheet will be underneath you when you sleep. And for me, it's at the second grommet mark on the tarp. Then you wanna fold the corners down and simulate where that center pole is gonna hold the shelter up. Which gives you this. This is roughly what the shelter will look like when you get that center pole in there and then the tarp is all staked out where it should be. So now notice that there's these little tiny flaps sticking out in the corners here. Now this is very important. You're gonna have to remember this later in the video. What we do with those flaps is absolutely critical. Now we are looking for two rocks about this size that we're actually gonna tie into the tarp to give us some more room inside. All right, look, check it out. All right, this is like perfect, perfect size rock. One, I found one. I've been looking for five minutes, I found one rock. And you can just shove it inside of the tarp like this and then tie a clove hitch around that. Then this gets staked out and that'll hold the, t the, uh, the whole shelter open a little bit more. So what I like to do is tie a clove hitch and I just make a loop. I make another loop the same way. So I have two loops and I put the first one in front of the second one. And then you just go over your rock and tighten down. Like so. Now I can stake it out. So now we gotta find a pole that's gonna hold up the front of the shelter. It's gonna have to be about as high as my nose to make it work. So let's go hunting. Yeah, this looks good. Take this one. Once you find a pole for the shelter, you wanna stake out the front corners in a way that allows enough room to get in and out of the shelter. Then you can raise the center pole nice and tight. Next, stake out the back guy lines to create that nice space inside. Then we need to remove the stakes from the corner. You know those first ones we put in? Yeah, we gotta pull those back out and tuck the corners up inside the shelter so that no rain can gather inside where you sleep. This is a super important step. Then just sweep out the debris and you're ready to move in. Okay, so this is the secret sauce. This is what's gonna make this shelter a hot tarp shelter. I got this stove from Silver Ant Products. It is a titanium stove. It is super lightweight. All right, so this comes with a stove pipe. This right here rolls out into a six foot long titanium stove pipe. So it's super light. And then this attaches to the back of the stove and these rings are what hold the stove pipe together. And then I made some guy wires. If there's a lot of wind, this actually keeps the stovepipe from falling over into your shelter. Okay, so what makes this unique is it has these side wings that fold out and you can actually use these to cook on, to warm up food, or just generally to kind of like use as a prep surface. So if you don't want them, you can just fold them back up like that and you get a more compact uh, stove. So when you are unrolling this, you definitely want to be wearing gloves because this is extremely thin titanium. It's like razor sharp. They actually recommend that you break the stove in at your home uh, outside in your backyard or something before taking it on a trip. And I could see why, because the first time I rolled this up, it was a little difficult. But now that it's got the heat set uh, in the metal, it actually has a memory to it and it's a lot easier to roll up. So you just roll it up and you slip these collars on and then as it heats up, it kind of expands and locks it in. Got 
That's it. Ricola. I made this guy line, which is basically just a cheap carabiner that I got from the dollar store and two long sections of bank line here. And I just clip it right on the top of the stove pipe like that. And then I can actually just take these out and guy them into the ground and it holds the stove pipe in place. So then we've got one more that I put right out the front here, kind of off to the side so I can still get in my shelter really easily. This is one of my favorite axes to use now. This is the Gerber Gear Bushcraft Axe. It's fairly lightweight, but it can get through some oak. Plus it has a really cool compartment in the handle that holds a mini Bic lighter, a spot for tinder, and it has some cordage in it, which is pretty handy. The geometry of the blade is actually made so that it pulls the blade away from you if it slips in the wood while you're splitting. All right, I got the stove working in the hot tarp shelter and it's awesome. I cooked this in my titanium cook set from Silver Ant and it's freaking awesome. It's so lightweight, cooks really, really well. I am very, very happy with this. It looks super good, doesn't it? Oh, ho, ho. So after I eat, I'm gonna get my sleeping bag rolled out and probably hit the hay for the night. I got a lot more stuff to do tomorrow. All settled in for the night. The shelter turned out pretty cool. Got plenty of room for the stove for firewood, for all my equipment. This is definitely one of my favorite tarp shelter designs. Probably my number one favorite is the plow point for bad weather, but this is a close second. If you're not gonna have a ton of wind and a ton of rain, like this is really ideal, I love it. It's very open feeling, it's easy to get in and out of. And if you got a little stove like this, it's super easy to heat. If you're gonna use this in the winter time, you would just step up the size of the tarp, maybe a couple more feet in each dimension, and then you could put a stove jack in it and get plenty of warmth for the winter. And what's awesome about this is that there's only two guy lines on this shelter right now. Only two. Just the two off the back that give me more headroom. So it's really easy to set up. I am really loving this Outdoor Vitals Summit Down Sleeping Bag. This thing is so comfortable and so warm. I highly would recommend it. Okay, so last night was really awesome in this shelter. I was super warm, the wind kicked up for a little bit, and I didn't feel any of it because I had the shelter aimed the right way, so the wind was coming this way. So it's very important when you get to camp and you set this thing up, that you take some leaves and you throw them up in the air and you see which way the wind is blowing. The stove did awesome. I actually let it burn out uh, partway through the night because it was just too hot in there. But on a cold winter night, that would be really, really handy. So the only thing in retrospect is that this tarp is a 12 by 12 tarp. If I was to do this again, I would do it as a 14 by 12 tarp because that would give me a little bit more ground sheet underneath me. Another thing is too, is that this is a five mil tarp. It's the thickness and it's way too thin. Like I would go for at least a 10 mil tarp. Um, and it's gonna hold up better over time. This one, it started to rip in a couple spots. It's a good thing I had some Gorilla Tape with me to fix it, but uh, definitely would suggest a heavier thickness tarp. So I hope you found that useful, or at least entertaining. We'll see you later.